Hi guys, Wine Tuber here and in today's video I'll explain the most common Spanish wine terms including Crianza, Roble and Vino de Pago. So if you want to be expert in Spanish wines, watch this video until the end. Muchas gracias to Luis for helping me with this video and if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe. Bodega in Spanish means winery or wine cellar, but did you know that in Galicia bodega is also called adega? Cava is a sparkling wine produced by traditional method, also called champagne method. Cava is produced in many different regions in Spain, to the Navarra, Rioja or Extremadura, but the homeland of Cava in Spain is Penedes. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about Cava or what's the difference between Cava and Champagne, click the link above or one in the description below. Corpinat is another sparkling wine produced in Spain but strictly in Penedes region in Catalonia. Corpinat is definitely quality sparkling wine as it's made from the organic and hand harvested grapes. Corpinat needs to be aged for minimum 18 months and 30 months for the reserva. Please note that Corpinat is the association, not the appellation. Cosecha in Spanish means vintage or harvest and the cosecha stamp can be normally found on the back label. This term also refers to wine with no aging regulations. Crianza can be translated as aging and in two most common Spanish wine regions, which is Rioja and Ribera del Duero, red wine labeled as Crianza are aged for minimum 24 months and minimum one year in oak. Denominación de origen, simply called DO, is the Spanish answer to French AOC system. Each of nearly 70 denominación de origen indicates the region of origin of the wine. Denominación de origen wines need to follow many conditions and regulations, such as use only permitted grape varieties, follow the aging regulations, control the yields and also the alcohol level. Fantastic examples of Denominación de Origen regions are Ribera del Duero, Rias Baixas or Jerez. Level above DO it's Denominación de Origen Calificada. There are only two regions that hold this prestigious status in Spain, which is Rioja and Priorat. Denominación de Origen Calificada is very similar to Italian DOCG, where origin great variety and more importantly quality is guaranteed. Gran Reserva is very special category which means that wine needs to be aged for minimum five years and need to spend two years in oak before it's released. There's some also Gran Reserva white wines that age for four years and with minimum six months in oak. Joven in Spanish means young. Wine labeled as Joven are usually very easy drinking and should be consumed within two to three years or even sooner. Reserva is another term regarding aging. Reserva wines are aged for minimum three years, which is at least 12 months in oak. White wines called Reserva are aged for two years, which is at least six months in oak. Roble in Spanish means oak. This term is quite common in Ribera del Duero. Roble wines are aged in oak for three months or a little bit longer to add some complexity to Joven wines. Vinas Viejas means old vine. Wine labeled as Vinas Viejas showing more complexity and concentration, not just on the nose, but also on the palate. Vino de la Tierra in Spanish can be translated as a wine of the land. There are over 40 different Vino de la Tierra areas in Spain. The producer needs to follow basic regulations and rules of the region. However, in this category can be found some super interesting wines to try. 
Vino de Finca means estate wine, meaning that the producer needs to use their own grapes and the wine needs to be produced and bottled at the estate. For me, Vino de Finca is the wine made with passion. Vino de Pago, not Denominación de Origen Calificada, is the highest designation for Spanish wines. There are currently 19 Vino de Pago wineries, mostly located in La Mancha, Valencia, Navarra and also one in Aragon. Vino de Pago are produced in very small and specific areas, as Vino de Pago is a single estate appellation. If you'd like to learn more about this very unique category, click the link above or one in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, don't miss out my next one about biodynamic wines that will be recorded in my hometown at fantastic producer called Winery Vielichka. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!